I won't buy it. I want to talk to you. Hey. Hey, Wallace. This here's the kind soul I was telling you about. The one that, uh, got the venom out of your leg? <clears throat> mm-hmm. Guess so. Listen, friend. I know I can never repay you, but... How about you head over to the gunsmith and pick out your choice of item on my tab? Oh, well, thanks. Yeah, seemed like the least I could do with him being sent... Thank you. The outside told me I could grab something on his tab. One with the Biden in his leg. Oh, Norbert, huh? Well, he's good for it. About all he's good for between the two of us. That's been far well, take a look around. Find something you like, I'll put it on his tab. Fine choice, I'll let him know. Bye now. Thank you. friend had a good time did you <laughs> you going to get me out of here i ain't decided yet real funny oh i ain't joking cowpoke i heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months and now i got an opportunity to watch you be silenced well you gotta do yes something. please Why? i always looked up to you arthur well that's your first mistake Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. I got to do something. You got any dynamite? I do have dynamite. You might want to step back a bit. Oh, I've never done that way. Let's get out of here, come on. Oh! What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll. Who do you sons of bitches think you are?
Marcus a brutal guy like his dad. I've read conspiracy theories on his dad, um, videos on him. He was like Micah. My guns. Your guns? I showed him, and I'll show the rest of this town! You have really... Oh. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, that's funny. That's hilarious. He deserved it. I showed him. is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. If he hadn't found us in time... Yes, we'll all be thanked profusely. I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. Some of I think we finally lost him. I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time. Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? Right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me, sons of Dutch, makes us brothers. Sometimes, brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. So you ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a... Peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah. Peace offering? What do you mean? Oh, lit. Oh, that's good. Okay. I think it's two guns now. John. Hey, 
Arthur. Where you all? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. Need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure, but what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Yeah. 